You're here because you want a good workout with a curl bar or a straight bar using resistance bands. If this is your first time watching the channel, my name is Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Now what inspired this video is that I did a review of the Body Elastic Curl Bar and I just fell in love with the curl bar. So I posted up with all the subscribers there, would you like to see a workout with that? And the response was huge. So as a man of the people, I went ahead and made a video about it. I've had this curl bar for about a month and I love it. Everything you're gonna see in this video is exactly what I do. I typically do three sets when I'm working out certain exercises. I take a one minute rest and that's what I show you in this video. Now, during those one minute rests, I also have a lot of tips and techniques that could really help you out to get that muscle development faster. Because after I started using this curl bar, my gains really improved because I can really get tough resistance and really focus on great form. Now, if it's your first time watching this video, I would highly recommend that you watch it all the way through to the end because I give a lot of tips during those one minute rests. So those one minute rests are designed to give you thoughts about the exercises that are coming up or thoughts about on the next set. And these things are really beneficial to give you the full benefit of this video. Also, if you're watching this video and you just wanna to get to the exercises, I loaded up chapters just like this so you can make sure that you can just skip straight to the workouts if that's what you're interested in. In addition, when I was at home watching a Braves game, and if you don't know, I'm a huge Braves fan, and I had these ideas about different exercises that I can show in the video. So normally when I get those ideas, I post it to my Instagram first, so that way I can get some feedback, and if people like it, I add it into the videos. So if you're interested in seeing some additional workouts, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Discipline Dave. So now we're done with the easy part. It's time to go ahead and work out. All right, so we're gonna begin with bicep curls. As you see, I already have my band attached. And what you're gonna do is bring your arms down and you're gonna lift your feet up, find that middle position there. And you're gonna come back, squeeze your back, contract those abs, and you're gonna curl up just like so. And what we're gonna do is eight to 10 reps. You wanna make sure you control that band. Don't let it control you. And also keep in mind, if you wanna do a little extra, that's fine. Because after this set, we're gonna rest for one minute. So this is the part of the video where I give you tips and tricks. For this one, you wanna make sure that your wrists are bent backwards. Don't try to curl them forward. That way you can make sure that you focus on the bicep. Now on to our next set. Very important to keep those wrists bent backwards. And you're gonna come up and squeeze. At that peak of that contraction, I want you to squeeze as hard as you can. Moving those arms away from the body. All right. A common problem that people have with bicep curls is that they swing their body when they swing their arms. You want to make sure that your legs are stationary, your back is contracted, and so is your abdominals. So 
so you can just make sure that you focus on those arms. Here we go, let's push it out. Now don't be afraid in between sets if you need to go to a lighter band. Form is more important than trying to prove stuff to your ego. Ooh, feeling it already. That's what we want. That's how you make those muscles grow. So this exercise is very important that you're keeping your palms as flat as possible. They're gonna bend a little bit for the tension, but you wanna fight against that. So these are gonna be palm raises. Step into your band. All right, and you're gonna come up just like this. Keep that bar close to your body. And then do six to eight of these. <laughs> you thought I was over. <sighs> there we go. So when you're doing these palm raises, you want to make sure your arms are close to the body. And as you come up, you want those elbows to come back. Kick those elbows back. <sighs> Squeeze those biceps at the peak. <sighs> this is really gonna add width to your bicep. <sighs> All right. Hey, I'm just here to let you know, I don't think a lot of people know about this, but I have a free meal plan in the link in the description. So just go ahead and check it out. It's absolutely free. I don't know about you, but my biceps are screaming. 
can't even say screaming. I'm mixing cream with screaming. All right, now this is gonna be an overhead tricep extension. As you see, I've added more bands. Most people can do this at a higher resistance. So you're just gonna make sure you clip it on one end of the bar and you're gonna step on the bar in the middle section. You're gonna bring the bands behind you. Make sure your abdominals are contracted and your back is stationary. And you're gonna go straight up and squeeze those triceps. And we're gonna do eight to 10 reps on each side. The key is you wanna stretch when you come down and fully contract all the way up. Now when you're ready to go to the other side, you're changing hands. All right, you wanna make sure that you release that tension so that bar doesn't come flying up on you. Then you're gonna step on the other side and come straight up. Just like the other side, eight to 10. All right. So when doing the overhead tricep extension, it's very important that that arm extend all the way up. I mean, from here to here is a huge difference in development. So make sure you do it. All right, time to hit it again. Again, we're gonna stand on the middle here. Then we're gonna get our tension. We're gonna do the work. Get that work in. Tension, step over again. You definitely want to match up each side with the set you finish. So, if you finish eight on one side, do eight on the other. That way, we can get our muscles nice and balanced. resistance bands that I just come up with ideas like in the middle of the night and I just try them out. So I created an Instagram for this purpose to show you these new ideas right before they hit YouTube. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see workouts in bite-sized chunks and some new workouts that may be up and coming in future videos.
Let's go on to our next set. Now in between sets, you can make those adjustments. If you need to add resistance or release it. If you can't make eight reps, you need to go lighter. If you're doing 10 easily, now it's time to move up. Great thing about this is, if you need to go lighter, all you need to do is drop a band. If you're using multiples. All right, let's go on the other side. Don't be ashamed to go lighter. I do it all the time. People are surprised about how light I live. Also surprised that I use resistance bands to work out. You'll be surprising people too. So this exercise, what you can do is, you can actually change up the tension on the side lateral raise. So you can do it from the opposite side of where you're standing if you want more tension, or you can do it with the same side to get less tension. This is a pretty tough exercise for me, so I like to do the same side when I'm using this band. Let's begin. This one's gonna be a little bit higher rep. We're gonna do 10 to 15. You need something that has good linear stretch. So these body elastics are good for this exercise with the bar. The body elastic bands and the bar kind of go hand in hand, I see. You can use other bands. But if you don't have any, the body elastic bands are pretty nice. <sighs> All right, now we're gonna do our other side. Same thing. I want you to keep your chest forward and the top of your back contracted. All right. Okay, when you're doing this exercise, you wanna make sure you're not trying to hoist yourself up. Make sure it's slow and controlled. If you gotta hoist yourself up, you need to go lighter in your bands. thing I feeling out there let me know in the comments what you're feeling 
not during the exercise, after. We're just here to do work right now. Feel that tension. Feel that squeeze right here. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Ah, about 10 is what I can do in good form right now. So I'm gonna switch over. That's right, it's not about ego. It's about contracting that muscle. Ooh. Ooh. Adjust that a little bit better there. Make sure you feel that center. So even this one day, it goes lighter. I know you're at home saying, I'm gonna do exactly what this one day does. No, you gotta build yourself up and then be better than me. There are many times before I had bands looking at the weights trying to compare myself to others. Everybody asks me the questions. That could be you. All right. All right, now again. And in Spanish, otra vez. stable. If you're starting to wobble a little bit, if you're starting to really feel it, just finish out that set. Get to that 10. Try your best. Got it. All right.
So I just wanna encourage you, if you're at this point and you're feeling exhausted, just make sure you finish, okay? If you can do it without bands, just do it without bands. Those are just tools to assist you. You can do it. Keep going. Now this exercise, and actually most of the exercises, you wanna embrace the negative. By the negative, I mean on this exercise, when you're coming down, don't just let your arms down, you wanna control it because your muscles are gonna work in both directions. Now this is a part of the video of my secondary mic went out. The good news is it only happened with one other exercise, so you won't run into any issues further along. All right, so now put your braided bands behind your back. You're gonna find a good little base there, keeping those elbows in, and you're gonna push right on up. And we're looking at eight to 10 reps. You really wanna go heavy on the resistance on these. Squeeze that chest at the top. Squeeze, slow and control. Don't let those bands just snap back down. You wanna control it down. There you go. this exercise, I want you to make sure you keep your elbows in as you push up.
All right, second set. Let's get that work in. Now keep pushing. It's just like the opposite of a push-up. And you have to use the bands to get you that contraction. You can't use that gravity just to bring you down like when you normally do a push-up. So take advantage of these bands to really help you develop your chest. All right, so you're a little bit over the halfway point. I don't know if that makes you feel better or worse, but you're almost there. So just keep going. I'm telling you, just keep going. I get a lot of comments asking me, can you do something here for women? My wife does the exact same workouts that I do. She's filming right now. This is universal for men and women. So if you're a woman right now and you're doing it, congrats. You are ready to begin the journey of losing weight and building muscle. So this exercise is gonna seem very similar to those front raises, but this is gonna be a chest workout. So we're gonna to have to change up our grip. So as you can see, I'm going in underneath and I'm coming into that closest curve, all right? And the key is here, it's like we're gonna scoop up and we're gonna squeeze that chest at the top and keep our arms straight. You definitely wanna make sure that you keep those arms straight. And the squeeze is happening right there at the peak, bringing that chest in. Yeah, that's my tension level. 
What's your attention level? Let me know in the comments below. people to hit the like button if you like the exercises but you may hate this in a good way so if you hate it in a good way hit that like button All right, let's go. Let it fuel you. I'm gonna finish it this one day workout. Body's gonna change, feel good, look good, be there for my family. Be there for my kids. It's all about them right now. Just gonna finish out this set. You got it. All right. All right, as you see, I got a rainbow color of bands. So with that, you can do this normally. Most people, nine times out of 10, can add resistance. So my grip, I'm going on this curve right here, and over the top grip, I'm gonna stand on my bands, all right? And I'm gonna have my back at a 45 degree angle. You can see that on camera too. Hello, camera too. And then you're just gonna come up and squeeze with bent over rows. And we're gonna do six to eight. It's very, very important to squeeze your back at the peak of the movement. Now I would tell you congratulations, but we're not done yet. All right, we're gonna hit it again. 45 degree angle up, squeeze. Squeeze. Jeez, just take a rest, why don't you?
All right, here we go again. I also thought that maybe you should see how the back is contracting. So my lovely camera woman is gonna show you my back. Here we go. See how I'm squeezing that back? It's almost like a hesitation at the top. That's what we want. Squeeze until you can't squeeze no more. All right, if you like that camera angle, give a like button for Mr. Discipline Dave out there, putting in that hard work. All right, so now you can see with this exercise, we're keeping on higher resistance. I'm using an over the top grip right here on that first curve. And I'm gonna stand on the bands. All right, I'm gonna come up, make sure my back is contracted and my abs are also. And I'm gonna pull up right here with my traps. Keep that bar close to you. I'm gonna do 10 to 15. Yes. Don't just drop it down, control it down. shoulders a lot of people try to use momentum and hoist their way up you just want to lift with your traps and shoulders Here we go again. I oh, got it. Let those traps go up to the sky. this far you've got to like this video so just hit that like button it really helps out the channel and it makes it so that i can bring you more workouts like this
I'm quiet because I'm feeling it. Are you quiet now because you're feeling it? Or are you quiet because you don't want nobody else to hear you feeling it? So the audio went out on the second mic on this exercise, so I'm just going to let you know some of the things that you really need to know while doing this. This is a bicep lunge, so you're going to keep your bicep contracted while you're doing this lunge. Now when you're changing legs, make sure that you lower the bar so the resistance is low. Don't just kick your leg out of the band because it's going to snap you in the face. And we don't want that. When you're bringing yourself back up from that lunge, you wanna make sure that your back foot isn't just pushing you forward. It's just an assist. You don't wanna rely on that back foot keeping you up. It's just to keep you stable. So the good thing about doing this with the curl bar is that it keeps your wrists in this position where your biceps are in a contracted state. So I highly recommend using a curl bar, but you can do this with a straight bar, but you'll really get a good bicep contraction with the curl bar. Okay, if you made it this far, you are a savage. If you made it here, leave in the comments, I made it to savage mode.
Now make sure you really kick that leg back. Now we have reached the end of the video. Now that you've completed savage mode, get even more savage with the full body workout. And for those who want more resistance, check out the video of Toro Bands Review.